Welcome to Mr. Brown's Basement, a channel devoted to the repair and restoration of electronic gear and other random stuff. Today I'm going to be sharing the experience of my COVID infection so you have an idea of what COVID disease looks like and how long it can last. That said, every COVID infection is different. Your mileage may vary. At the time of my infection, the predominant strain in Canada was Omicron, and that's probably the one that got me. No doubt in the future, there will be different variants that will cause different looking COVID infections. They're here. This is the day that I think I was exposed to COVID. I had all my shots, the last one being in November, and I religiously wear my mask in public. This is my first known infection since the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020. I was fine all day Saturday. Day 1. Welcome, Uncle COVID. I got up and felt fine, but as the day wore on, I didn't feel right and I had a nagging tickle at the back of my throat. Day 2. Virus? What virus? Last night was all about increasing pain, headache, and sore throat, and that's how I woke up. I thought I might have a bad cold or the flu. To be sure, I took a COVID rapid antigen test. It was negative, so I figured it couldn't be COVID. My appetite was almost non-existent, so I consumed only tea and clear broth that day. Day 3. COVID. The Pathological Attention Seeker. My sore throat was getting worse, so I took my temperature. At 3 p.m., about 36.5. No fever. But my symptoms worsened, and by 8.30, I was having chills and body aches again. I took my temperature, this time a mild fever. And this increased over the night, even though I was taking Tylenol every four hours. It was a very long night. I felt weak with body aches and arms, legs, and back. I had a pounding headache over one eye, and while it felt like someone was stabbing screwdrivers into each ear. My throat was worse than ever. My nose, however, wasn't running. Not surprisingly, I didn't get much sleep. The only saving grace is that there was no upset stomach, but there was no appetite either. Day 4 Holy microscopic particle, Batman! I took my second COVID rapid antigen test. This time I tested positive. When it comes to being sick, I don't see any reason to be a hero. So I made some phone calls about the antiviral Paxlovid. I found a nearby shopper's drug mart that had it in stock and they promised to deliver it for free. Two hours later, I took my first dose. Thank you, Rexdale shoppers and government of Ontario. Paxlovid is a course of 30 pills that you take over five days and is supposed to reduce COVID's ability to replicate. It must be started early in a COVID infection to be effective. There are a number of possible side effects, one of which is altered taste. Within an hour of taking my first Paxlovid, my mouth tasted like a moldy shoe and no amount of mouthwash would do anything about that. The soup that I had tasted metallic and so did the tea. The fever went up and down like a yo-yo, and I continued to use Tylenol every four hours. Day 5. Drowning in Acetaminophen. It felt like the fever finally broke until it came back with accompanying chills. But the most obvious thing this day was the sneezing, sore throat, and cough. My throat was now like fire. And the cough, well, I tried not to cough because once I started, I couldn't stop. I was afraid I'd lose consciousness, my meager stomach contents, or both. I couldn't speak without starting to cough. I tried to rest, but breathing through my nose or through my mouth was very, very painful. The air in my throat was like fuel in a flame. I turned on a humidifier and that allowed me to sleep. I slept lightly between bouts of coughing and swallowing because the pain of both would awaken me. My fever was hovering around 38.6 and my ears were hurting more than ever. This was my worst night. My name is Biohazard Brown. By this morning, I had no fever. Of course that changed. 
The throat was still sore and tender, and the pain was somehow connected to my ears. The bouts of coughing were something else. I tried to find a cough suppressant off the shelf to order, to be delivered by Instacart, but there isn't any to be had anywhere. I called my doctor and he prescribed a cough syrup that isn't available. Wow, more pandemic shortages. At least I don't need any toilet paper. By the end of the day, I felt some strength coming back for the first time, and I also had the first thing to eat. I was also overwhelmingly tired. I slept undisturbed. Day seven, right in the kissa. No fever, what a relief. I felt some of my strength coming back and the brain fog was beginning to clear. I wanted to have something to eat. To this point, I had lost about six pounds, but my gut wasn't treating the food kindly. It was being sent on its way quickly. But that, like the altered taste in my mouth, might just be the antivirals. Day eight and nine. Bye Corona, bye bye Corona. I was feeling stronger these days and still no fever. The respiratory symptoms were about 10% of before, but they were still there, particularly the cough. On Sunday, my gut was still not taking kindly to solid food, treating it like an unwelcome guest. By Monday, the diarrhea had stopped. I took another rapid antigen test. Finally, COVID negative. Day 10, relieved, but not there yet. I'd say I'm back to normal, mostly. The only lingering symptoms are roughness in the throat and the occasional cough. Comparison to the flu. I've had the flu before and the feeling was similar in many ways. The last time I had it was 2013, the one year I missed my flu shot. A coincidence? I don't know. I missed two weeks of work because I was stuck in bed like a sweaty, limp lump. I remember having much more brain fog with the flu, but COVID has been much, much more intense and painful. Still, it could have been worse or longer lasting. Takeaways from this experience. I'm going to make an effort to always be prepared with an emergency stash of Tylenol, toilet paper, and soup. No matter how miserable COVID was, I must still find a way to live my life while avoiding unnecessary risk of catching and spreading this horrible disease. I hope you found this video useful and invite you to share your experiences in the comments section below. Look after yourself.